Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Nelson. And I'm Teresita. And you're watching Nature Nell. And we just took a nice little road trip from Miami to Boca Raton, Florida, which they hold a great show every year by the Boca Raton Orchid Society. Yeah. And this is our first, have you been here before? I have never been here before. I've thought of it, but just never came. And the sun is coming out today, and it's bright, and we have to wear our shades. <laughs> because yes, because if not, we're going to be squinting <laughs> all the time. Good thing is it's indoors. So, guys, they have great vendors in there. They have really good, credible names. I saw some of Blanca's video, and I was so excited that yeah. we were able to come here today, Sunday. So, without further ado, let's go look at some blooms. Let's go check it out. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Alright guys, so we are now walking into the beautiful space. Everywhere you look, this is abundance of flowers. This is really pretty how they put the show pieces well, here. Yeah, these well actually these are the from what I'm seeing here, the the members plants that I guess they bring for get judged. It's really pretty. So the members are the, of the society are beautiful. Yeah, Those are some, really beautiful. Some really pretty things here. And I like that it's indoors. So in case it rains, which it has been raining a lot lately. Look at this. This is how mine is going to look. I know. I saw this on Blanca's video and I said, oh, this is giving me a great idea. To right? put it in a container like that. That would be beautiful too. Oh, Terry, look at these. These are like the Lama Lama type of uh, yeah. It is. Oh my goodness. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. How many? Do they have a tag? No. <laughs> this is not if for... If it does, it's way It's in lost in there. <laughs> it's lost in there because I don't see... It's a big piece. That's all one piece, guys. That is. And then as soon as you walk in, they have artists. They have... Oh, that's um, the guy who does uh, uh, who purchases the African baskets from Africa. This is a supply store, Green Barn Supplies. They are a staple in, in Broward. Look how pretty the pots are. I love these pots. I have a couple of them. Oh, they're so pretty. Yeah, and look at the cones, Terry. Where? Right here. Oh, yes. The cones, and look at these. These are nice. These are the cones, and then they have these. I like those. They're hanging, but they're round. And they even have... That's really nice. I like these. Those ones come with a wire hanger too. Okay. This, this, and this one does. So, that like, that's on display over there. Very oh, unique. Awesome. I didn't mean that. Well, yeah, that would have been. <laughs> look how cute they look. They look really pretty. I like those. How much are they? Twenty. I don't know. Yeah, twenty dollars. The bigger one. This is twenty. Oh, okay, eighteen, seventeen, twenty, and fifteen. Very very nice. And I love these. I like that a lot too. Great, great stuff for your orchids. I definitely need to buy two of these. Let me see this one. This is beautiful. I love this. Yeah. And I like that you can hang them all. They're all pre pre uh pre drilled. Pre drilled. It's just put the plant and go. Alright guys. Look at these, these patterns. They collect the water. You know what? I'm going to spin this around. Look at this. All right, guys. We started talking. You know, I start seeing friends of mine. And I start talking and I forget that I'm here to record. So let's start with Ritter's. Linda's wonderful place of amazing orchids. Well, let's bring up. There's a lot of light in here today, so I may not have to use my. I do have the light on now, but I may not have to use it as much as I normally do because when we're out and about, oh, these were those obsidians she has. 
that I saw Blanca showcases. Look how pretty. She says these do very well out in uh, on the trees, especially in Miami. And look at this up here. Oh, that's gorgeous. This is a Comori. Now this is one of my top favorite fragrant flowers. It has a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Let me see if it has. It's a sample, but I do know it's a Comori. Well, let's see what she has. Let's see over here, more Dendrobiums. Now I have one that it's starting to bud and it looks just like this and i don't see a name on these hold on here we go kingianum so that's a dendrobium kingianum The Nobelese. Somebody corrected me and told me that it's pronounced Nobele. I guess they pronounce it like that in their area. I don't know. I've never heard it said that way. I've only heard it say Nobele. At least everyone I know calls it a Nobele. Like these right here. So it's a very first for me to hear. This is the actual name. It's the very first time for me to hear that it's pronounced Nobele. <laughs> so tell me what you guys think. Have you heard Nobele or Nobele, Terry? I've always heard Nobele. No, Nobele or Nobele? Were you asking me? <laughs> Nobele, right? That's somebody correcting me. No bile. No bile. No Somebody told me no bile. No bile sounds like bile. Right? Like yeah, and no bile sounds like something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to stick to no bile. Like <laughs> this is gorgeous. I don't care. And they get English. I don't care. Like they they Oh my God, this is yeah. so yeah. pretty. This is gorgeous. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a whole. I wonder what kind of foul this is. They're only twenty dollars, but it's really unique looking. You can tell they're seedlings because they slightly differ in tone. See, very very pretty. So guys, you don't break the bank if you want one of these unique looking fowls. They're only twenty bucks. This is Red Hawk. Red Hawk has these amazing, amazing, beautiful catalias. There's one back there. Look how gorgeous that is. That's, and I know that they had that for a raffle. They did give, put one for a raffle, I heard. Here's some more of those of these Nobelies. I guess this, this is now the season, right? That they start. Yeah, this is the season. That you know, Tom, flowering Tom makes these really cool mounts of nobilies that he stacks them, and they look really, really it looks pretty. Like you can do it. It's not nobilies. The, the I don't think the, the roots grow that long, like a vandal. So you could probably yeah stack them in. It smells so good in here. Yeah, because that's one thing, guys. If you don't know about nobilies, they are so fragrant. They are delicious. Oh, it, not, oh, it does, still doesn't want to come and out. And the fact that they're indoors in AC and they still smell this good, imagine what they smell like out in the open. Yeah, rotated, right? They bloom pretty good everywhere. Look at this. That is something that is so beautiful. It really is gorgeous. It just, it shows, it's one of those like, I don't need to They have these also at Charles Smith, they're beautiful. These are fifty dollars. No, it's a very good price. Just very beautiful. Look 
That's a beautiful piece right there. Yeah, double spike. You better take that piece. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. That's that was a, a really... little bit more, but it still works. No, it's that's gorgeous. It's, gorgeous. it's very well balanced, and these are super well. <laughs> That's yeah, a good one. Especially on a Sunday. You don't find those on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, guys. Look at this Tindrobium. I don't know. It's, it's an unfocused one. Oh, a Sherry Abe. Can you see the show the tag? Because you know that this... Sherry A, B, oh, with Spectabili. That's why yeah. it has those, because that's what it reminded me of the, the actual flower. Yeah. Has sort of that Spectabili. It does. Sherry leaves grow very well. Yeah, and, and, and big. I bought it on 45. 45, yeah. Wow, that's a nice one, Sherry. Oh, and it. I don't know if I have a Sherry A, though. I know Blanca has them, but. She does on her trees. And of course, these beautiful zygopetalums, which don't really do well with me. <laughs> I don't know why they don't like my environment. Today's a uh, focus problem day. I think it. Do I smell something? Do you smell something? I don't know. I can't. I can't tell now. No, there's I'm no overwhelmed fragrance. with all the smell. Right? There's no fragrance. Speaking of spectabilities. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Oh, they're gorgeous. One day, ours will bloom. One, One day. day. These are 95 each. And look, they have, they have spikes. big spikes coming And in. those spikes are almost getting ready to open. Yeah, that's a beautiful have flower. Much of a that is a very cool looking flower. Oh no, the 125 up here, 75 down there. Just absolutely stunning. It's so unique in its own way, right? It is. I have two. Two of them? And this is Odom's, which he's known for great cat So this is ready to now. Ooh, that's pretty. That is gorgeous. That's Walker Yeah. Oh, yeah. 50 bucks, dude. No. And you don't find those for that. that. Oh, yeah. Let me see what it is. Oh, uh, here we go. Walker Yard is Strada da Colina. Ooh, this fragrance in here is just intense. That is beautiful. Is that what they call the gold nuggets? They'll both do well on the tree, but that one Yeah, it's very, oh, very rich. Very rich. It's almost like the Heaven's Gate, but with purple. And it, you can smell it from here. I haven't seen it. And ese precio no lo he visto. I've I already seen them like at a hundred bucks. Bueno, pero those are the white with the, the yes. fuchsia lip. Or the fuchsia. Either one. I never find them at that price. Oh, I see. Um, yeah. It's a good deal. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to... Uh... Excuse me. I'm sorry. There's some more guys. This looks like the Annie Bell. Oh, look at this. Lud Miniana. Look, she already bought it. <laughs> I knew she wasn't going to leave that one behind. And she shouldn't, because I've never seen it at that price. I know the prices are unbelievable. <laughs> You're, you're expecting to see 65, 70, and you see 40, 45? 
there, guys. Look at the price on this. For this beautiful flower. Look at this, 45 for all these. It's a really good deal. Yeah, this is our own clone here. That's, That's your, your own clone? clone? Yeah. So guys, here is Odin's own clone. Look at that, how gorgeous that is. Has these Hawaiian colors. It is gorgeous. Well, Odom's own clone is going to, uh, I think, miraculously oh, go to Terry's house. Rainbow Sherbert. Perfect name for it, too. You're going to take it? I think so, too. I think so, too. And you know what? Odom's prices are so fair, guys. Okay. You can get something this beautiful for 40 45 50 bucks. You're not breaking the bank, and you're, you're buying something that's going to bloom for quite a while. I always tell people, you spend money on flowers and they die off. You might as well just buy an orchid. You know it's going to last a lot longer. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. I know. I'm in love with that. And I'm in love with these pink ones. These pink ones are beautiful. The pink ones are beautiful. And this here is to die for. So guys, if you want to reach out to Odom's, as soon as we get Terry out of the way. Oh, well, I'm like, what is he that doing? Is, that is the name and that is what he's, um, what his um, policies are. All right, guys, here we have the famous Anasmums. And, you know, some people have asked who are just starting to collect orchids. They're like, oh, but is that dying because it has yellow leaves? These in particular, when they're about to bloom, they drop their leaves. That's a good sign. When you see them doing that, you're going to get bloomed very soon. The cane becomes bare with no leaves, and then it shoots its buttons, and you get this beautiful shower of flowers that looks something like this. And it's very, very, very fragrant. Very fragrant, like candy, sweet, grapey candy. Here are some examples of what they look like. Here are some that were used. I normally hang them upside down the way they grow naturally, but these, they decided to spike up. So, look at these big grammatophyllums. Or are these something else? They look like grams. This is Max Orchid. We've covered Matt before. He's known for his massive grammatophyllums. Oh, that's so <laughs> That looks like a Japonica. I was correct. Here we go. That's what that is. I have the same one, but uh, Cerulea. And I'm waiting for it to bloom. They are, they do stay on the small side, by the way. They don't get too big. But they are beautiful bloomers, and they do have a great, great fragrance. These are always a showstopper, these Indrogans, the condom. They're like little pompons. And these are $35. Very, very beautiful. I have these. These are very nice. Some more. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous one. More spectabilities. These are becoming more and more <laughs> popular to find. Everywhere, aren't they? Yeah, you can find them everywhere now i love these trichoglottis holly palmer oh, i have yeah. this one i have one and mine has not bloomed yet they're kind of weird and they go they kind of go and come I mean, back it has a new growth so i'm assuming next time around if, hold on let if me it's see. at least this size the leaves they will bloom um uh, mine actually i think it's about this size maybe yeah, and then just it just started. I thought it was a bloom because you know it yeah, starts new, off. Yeah, it's a new and it growth. was a new growth. Right, you might get it off of that new growth. They usually bloom in uh, late spring. Oh, okay, so it's maybe a rock orchid. yeah. 
They went bright, 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 bright light, a couple of hours of sun. Okay. Now that might be it. I haven't. And if you That's water it, it too is. much, it's not going to blow. And no, I don't water it a lot, but I have it a little more in the filter. So yeah. maybe put in a little bit Move brighter. Sure. Yeah. Put that a little bit. It's going to get a little speckling in the leaves. It's supposed to, like this. Yeah, like yeah. Well, that's actually good. And when it gets that, you know, you get you the know. proper light. Okay. Well, see. I know I could always. That's good to know I because. I learned something from you. Mine, mine are blooming now, and it's because I moved them from the spot they were in that's what it is. to our light. Yeah. And as soon as I did that, it gave me a huge spike. Yep. Yeah. That's what they want. Nine times out of ten, blooms. Lack of blooms are either too much water or not enough light. Not enough light. Yeah. I agree 100%. Those two things. Yeah. That lighting for me is everything. I've noticed that that's where I see a difference. It's more important than food. <laughs> yes, absolutely. You hear that, guys? That food is important, but lighting is way more important. These are really gorgeous. Here we have more lamaladas. Lamaladas are the, the the stars of the show this time. The hard kingdom. Here, I'll try to get you that name since it's right there. I call them my Ah, that's the best I can do, guys. <laughs> oh, we always need one more. Look at this, how gorgeous. <laughs> always. Oh, always, yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> we could always find room. <laughs> yes. This is beautiful, yeah, this, this Schomburgia. Yeah. That is beautiful, it's yellow. It's really pretty. All right, guys, now we are... How are you doing, Jim? Hi, everybody. How's everything? Doing really well. Great to see you. Hi. Always great seeing you. I'm looking to see, because I know it's Sunday, and you're always empty on Sunday, so let me see what you got left. This is nice. Oncidium cibaletta, the true identified species from Venezuela. Wow, this is beautiful. And I have the baby pups right down there. Oh, these are it? Those are keikis. Oh, look at that. They look so weird. <laughs> we call them the rat tail. Orders. They look like a rat tail. 30 bucks, right? Yes, sir. These are so cool. I'm going to pull back and show what it looks like. And then we are also that is so neat. Tickets. I've never and seen anything like this. And it's not grown well. That will actually produce flower spikes that are four feet long with 150 so flowers. Oh, wow. And those are just babies. So this would definitely be something to put on a tree. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's really pretty. And it can go two months without a drop of water. Oh, I like that. Here in Florida for the winter, it's perfect. I like that. Cebolleta. Almost sounds like an onion. Cebolla. <laughs> and here's some more beans. And that one, the red, is the namesake of a famous aria opera singer, Mario Lanza, from the 50s. Oh, nice. That's his namesake and his orchid. Really? Yep, that's a division of it. I think that it doesn't matter what career you have. Orchids. This is Corgata from uh, Jamaica. Oh, that is just beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of cute. I don't want to put the light in your face because I know. I'll, I'll step off to the side. This could be pretty it invasive. Is like, it reminds me. It reminds me as if Brasavala would have a baby with a vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. That I get is it. very nice. I like that. Very cool. Jim always has cool stuff. He does. The cool crosses. Brand new hybrid seedlings. <clears throat> oh, which by the way, I got at least, at least 10, maybe 15 from when you were at the booth in Tamiami. Oh, oh really? we saw you because of Nels. And I went, That's great. I said, Awesome. <laughs> keep, keep going. Keep coming. Keep that going. is great. That's what we want to hear. If not, you know, it all goes in vain. <laughs> Terry, Terry's in love with everything today. I know, well, not with everything. <laughs> she is like whiplashing. This is so pretty. My God, this is so pretty. Totally cool. I love it. Beautiful stuff. I love it. Jim brings it home every time. Even when he, even when he's empty, he still has incredible things like this that I know, right? You don't see often. <laughs> Look at this, Terry. Check this out. He should have started with this. This is what, what is this called? 
Oh, okay. Suncoast Pink Passion. Some will remember forever and ever be funny. It was Sean Berkey for 250 years. I know, right? And now it's Miramokopala. It's like, it sounds like a disease. That is gorgeous. That's this is really beautiful. That's in the vision off of Mama. See, this, this is the showstopper right here. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Is it fragrant? Yes, very fragrant. Woo. That is absolutely stunning. Yeah. Hi, Jim. Now, this is Sorua Orchids, local nursery uh, from where I live. Been around for many ages. And um, they are a staple at a lot of these shows. I'm Terry. I've been. I was trying to get your attention a while ago, but you were so enthralled with your conversation with I Blanca. No. I was trying to show you this. Yes. Um. Ritter. Ritter has them. Yes. I'm Aren't thinking of buying them I because know. I love the little details. That's what I love. It's something new. I've never seen this. In fact, I, I might buy one on the way out. I'm pretty sure if I don't. I'm forget, buying vicariously through your eyes. Oh, honey, I've already bought. You just didn't see. <laughs> oh me. no, I saw it and oh, I recorded it. Did you? Yeah, you think I don't notice? She I thinks I'm name. not paying attention. <laughs> I want to look at these. You broke the bank? I doubt it. How? It looks like the green envy. Yeah, it looks just... No. No, it's just the price. It's just the price, yeah. I don't know. It doesn't have a cash. It's just the price. Look at these. <laughs> Wow. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. What about three seagulls? Fifty. Cats are pretty healthy too. All the cat wheels are at an incredible price in this place. That is absolutely beautiful. Those patterns. I can't. I can't tell. What does that say? Warm Something? welcome. BLC Rung Napa, fancy. That's that one. Gorgeous. From Soror. Oh, look at these, how pretty. Oh my God, what was that noise? Yeah. These are the Mimi Palmers, aren't they? Yep. Yep. I have them. Mimi Palmer. I bought a baby one once, and it only has grown like a milliliter. <laughs> Yeah, these are very pretty and they have an amazing, amazing fragrance. They are a little pricey. These are 85. They do tend to be pricey, but it's one for collectors. Carlson, Carlson, Red Dragon. Are you okay? Red footed right on a palm? Yes. And then um, how often do I have to water? Now it's I not a lot of water. I mean, it's okay. not raining a lot, so you want to make sure wrong. the rings. <laughs> oh, that's right. We did get these. Okay. So these are the sun ones, ones, the sun loving orchids. More of the Nobelese, and look who's back there, Mr. No Tong the Master. The Master Grower. Self proclaimed, by the way. Yeah, I'm having. My phone does not, it does not want to respond to many things today. Hey! There you are! The master. What is it that's not? Master Tan. It's not you. Good morning. How are you, buddy? You guys are kind of like a day and a half late, but that's okay. That's excusable. I'm not late anywhere. I'm right on time. Oh, yeah. Whenever I get anywhere, it's right on time. You did good, buddy. I'm looking at these little tiny things because you're. Oh, yeah, that's the one I made about 10 years ago. And with my excellent growing, it's finally grown. With your excellent <laughs> master <laughs> growing? <laughs> no, I, I was kind of a little abused. Yeah. But that's a beautiful species from uh, Philippines called oh, the Drogue. Beautiful. Ionopsis. Okay? Oh. Very good. Uh, those are old classic one that nobody cares. And, I just happened to remake. No, I care. Cares. I think it's pretty cool. We care. I care. And this is a beautiful series of uh, Nobilior and Walkeriana from uh, Brazil. Wow. Absolutely, absolutely this is awesome. Beautiful, Tom. Uh, pay attention to the lip, okay? Ooh. The lip is the That's dive exactly one. what I'm looking yes. at. The labellum pretty, looks pretty awesome. Beautiful. Very, very pretty flower. That is gorgeous. Now, actually, this may be a cool thing. 
What is that? For some of you that in the know, uh, uh, this is the Kukulara hybrid. Oh, really? So that's a golden child cross by the Kukulara. Yeah. On the petals. So this is not a not a super Kukulara lip, but you know, at least the color is brilliant. It's beautiful. How much is something like that? Uh, I have 50 bucks for a full plan. 50? Yeah. Man, 50 is the number of the day. <laughs> I'm serious. It's great. They should just call this a $50 show. There we go. <laughs> 50 and below, like that store, five and below. 50 right? and below. Look at, oh, I love this. Yeah, that's love a beautiful, that. uh, that's a beautiful uh, Pap Sukakuliai from Thailand. That's a species, by the way. Wow, that is so cool. And we got a little, so all the pretty one, but this one is from uh, Bonil. Just a multi floral. Uh, love it. Lady Slipper. One of the things I love about Lady Slippers is the shininess of the flower. The flowers always look plastic. And the shape was very elegant. Too. And of course, the shape it, is. It's hard to beat I'm the, here uh, for the shape. It's hard, it's hard to you beat the. the uh, Huh? You always have the best. Yeah, because uh, I have bottom. <laughs> you always have the best. And they bloom year round. Everything I bought from him still blooms every year. <laughs> we got a look at all the little first place sprays. Oh yeah, there's some cymbidium. This side. Terry, you're looking at a yeah, zygo yeah. petal. No. I'm just looking. Wow, that's yeah, that's a uh, so pretty. That's a Maasai. That's a that's a color. new. It's, it's, a new, it's a hybrid? Yeah, it's a gorgeous uh, Oncidium. Oncidium. That's wow. another type here. That's another variation of the same cross. It's... Oh, yeah, that's kind of... So how do you say that first? Messiah, C I think. The C-O-L-M? Calm, what is it? What's an abbreviation calm for? Colomara. Colomara. Oh. They, they make so many names that I think I'm fading out. I know. <laughs> I was, I've never heard that name. I need to forget some. <laughs> Please, we learn the names and then they change it on us. You see the difference? Uh, that's the same same cross. Oh, that's the same cross? Yeah. A di different different it's, uh, color. It's starting to open, right? It's, yeah. So you don't know One is a red, the other one is pink or splash, I call them. I really like this one. I like that one, too. What about these? These are pretty cool, too. I give up on Zygos. No, these are easy to grow now. No, Come no, on. No, no, no. No? No. No, they, uh, do, I'm they done. do fine. I, listen, after 10 being killed, I give up. Just 10? Yeah, just 10. You gave up too soon. That's the problem. I argued with my wife 40 times and I still got her. Well, because well, you like torture. <laughs> You're into that torture. <laughs> <laughs> Look how beautiful, guys. These Oncidiums are so rich in color. Blanca, you need these on your trees, Blanca. Oh, I was telling Blanca to fill her trees up with Oncidiums. Yeah. Because it looks really good. I love that red one. Love it. If, today I'm not shopping, but I got to tell you, that would be the one I would take home. How do you know it's going to be not I know, bad. that's the thing. That's what's we would have to be. talk to Tom. <laughs> yeah. About what? About getting one that's going to be red. Getting one that color. it's definitely going to be red. Uh, I think it's hard to see it. As long as that one open, you can have it. Oh, yeah. let's force it open. <laughs> All right, let's go to the back and see what he has back here because he is the Talumnia King. And he always has some of the most incredible Tolumnias. I mean, look at that. The detail on that is just absolutely gorgeous. We moved down here. Beautiful. This is something you might like. What is it? This uh, I'm, doing, I'm doing a, a Tolumnia moment right now. <laughs> All right, this oh, is uh, Walker Yana. This it? is a primary hybrid between uh, Walker Yana and uh, Lotus Yisii. Oh, that's so that's crazy. that's called the uh, Heathia. Let me see what it smells like because I'm sure that has a lot of yep. fragrance. That smells. Oh yeah, awesome between two parents too. That is really pretty. That's why it's pretty classic. You know, you see it in a, in a past, but don't, mm -hmm. you don't see it recently. I love Walker Rianas or anything hybridized with it. It has yeah, that it signature is, labellum. Pretty, pretty. I keep gravitating to this because you know yeah, me, and my, <laughs> me and my cranberry and yellow. Oh my God! Look, speaking of, check this out. 
This is so cute. Beautiful, beautiful selection. Here is an overall view. Yeah, that one's pretty so very different. He doesn't get like that one. So yeah. Of the he event. He doesn't get like that one. No, no, it will. It will. It's just, it's just different color for the size you can see. So for where is this one? This one? No, I don't have, that's the last one. It's very, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to keep my hand only on the right side that because front of you too. I tend to, um, so this is, this, this segment right here with, uh, with the wide angle guys is not on 4k. So it'll be very interesting just to check out and see the difference between the 4k and the 60 HD. All right, now we are at, I think this is BL, or yeah, it is, there, <laughs> there's Bernard over there. I can see him, he's busy. Look at this, guys. Uh-uh, that's beautiful. This is a, a really fun stylist with uh, probably a Vanda, maybe, or a Renanthor. So I don't know, but it's really, really good. <laughs> Those are the ones with the purple one. Yeah. The cup pretty guys. Is this not gorgeous? That is just pretty. Apparently they get, I think like five feet tall. It's very big. Where are you going to put it? I mean. Thank you. It's really beautiful. Oh, no, tiny one. Sepatio. Sepatio. <laughs> it broke. It broke. Mine's broken. And there's BL, his massively beautiful display that he always carries. We we have. Oh, these are really pretty. I'm trying to find a picture. It's absolutely gorgeous. See this syndrome? How pretty. That is beautiful. Look at the size of that. Very nice. So we have a. I got this one. Yes. It pops out with a little. Focal gloss. Yeah. All the way down. I learned how to say it. Really. It was doing great. I kept on calling it glossy eye or something like that. <laughs> Focal gloss and Kimbaliana. Kimbaliana. And it's a very cool looking orchid if you guys are interested in these. I only seen BL carry these. I have not seen anybody else carry these. No. So what would I do? Would I just put it back, take it out of the sun? Yeah, it's a little crowded today because it is indoors. So here he has his, his traditional fowls, which by the way, guys, these are called moth flower orchid. Okay, so when you see this kind of fowl, when you see this, this is what we call the moth flower. It's a more traditional type of uh, orchid you see in most places. Now, granted, these are pretty common, but when you come to the shows, you will see special crosses of these. Colors that you don't see anywhere. So you're gonna be paying you know, $40 for a piece like this that's pretty big and it has a lot to offer when it comes to beans. I want to see what he has here. Hey. All that Cerulea Banda. I'm, I, I'm becoming Blue Jay Orchids. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everything Cerulea calls my, my attention. All right, and here... This is unmistakable. I can tell you right now where we're at without even looking at a sign. Me too. <laughs> Especially because I just got this. <laughs> That's a cross between a Rincon stylus and a Banda. This is Curl Smith, guys. As you can see, always filled to the top with blooms and it's already Sunday, the last day, and they still have plenty. 
So that's beautiful too. Is that not gorgeous? That's Rincon Stylus with something for sure. You see? Mm -hmm. yep. Gigantia, there it is. Southern Star. Beautiful. Oh, it's in a Beautiful. Oh my goodness. And here's a jewel plant. The discolor Ludis Ludicia. And I've shown you guys in my What's in Bloom, I have a very, very large one that was given to me as a gift. They grow pretty fast. And they bloom once a year. It is a species. Giving you an abundance of white little flowers. Hello! Hi, how, how are, are you? Happy New Year! I am Happy here. New Year. Happy New Year. Good to see you. It's nice to be on this side of town. Yes. <laughs> That's how beautiful this is. Say hi, Matt. Hey, Nelson. <laughs> how are you? Are you working solo today? No. Hayden's um, here. Somewhere. Oh, hey, somewhere. Hayden, somewhere in here? Somewhere here. Yeah, somewhere. He's hiding, and we caught, we busted him on film. Look at this guy. Friends that are meeting me, and I'll bring them over to introduce. She's getting a heaven's gate. Oh, look at this, Terry. Look at these colors. For forty-five dollars, you get that whole massive cat It is gorgeous. I know that some of our viewers that live abroad are shocked when we give the prices because they're like forty-five dollars for a cat of that size. So we we are fully aware and very blessed that we have those prices here. Because I know they can go for a lot more. Look at the Heaven's Gate. What are you what are you battling there, Terry? When I see Ter Terry battling something. Trying to see that. Oh. But I guess it has roots on the bottom, so it's tumbling. I'm like, oh boy, I'm not. Are you are you the Orkin monitor? <laughs> <laughs> Are you monitoring how they sit? Look, the Tejas, the what was it? What is it that we're always saying Tejas in Texas? Yeah, Texas or Tejas giant. Yeah. One of the two. Because mine yeah. is Tejas, but then yeah. you have one that says Texas. Mine's Texas. I think Texas is red. And Tejas looks more like this one up here, which is the one I have. Let me see. Let's 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 put it to rest. Let's see what this is. Tejas. That's what it is. It's not Texas. So it's definitely Tejas Giant. Sorry guys, it's like I was saying, when I when I go out with this equipment, people love to ask me questions right in the middle of filming something. So see, that's Texas. So Texas looks like that. Mm -hmm. Tejas looks like that. So Tejas is, is always going to be more saturated. Yeah. Definitely a deeper color. Yeah. So okay, we we found the mystery. Finally, it. it took us long enough. <laughs> <coughs> that blew my theory out the right? door. Because I, I I didn't I was like okay I seen Tejas and I seen Texas. Names. That's all it is. I want to see these little fowls. So, okay, I was I was explaining to the viewers that the um, those other fowls, the you know the big ones, they're called moth flower. I was told these, the tiny fowls, which are also phalaenopsis, these are called novelty fowls. That's how you differentiate. At least that's what I was told by a a collector that that's what they call them, the novelty fowls. The size of that. that is my nails are dirty. <laughs> I can't my, well, use my that, nails. Well, that's because we've been touching things. We've been touching things right now. And what's right. more gorgeous about this? The price. Look at the price. Is that? Forty-five dollars. Doesn't break the bank. This is really pretty. I'm just gonna skip over my friends at Plantillo. Plantillo Orquídea. My friends from Venezuela. 
they always have beautiful choices, huh, Terry? They do. Like, look at this. This they Leonardo in graph. <laughs> How beautiful is that? That's really pretty. I got him the way that I'm. Yeah. Really pretty. The Rene Marquis. Oh, the Rene? I love the Rene. Rene Marquis is always a winner. I have to say that that was the first one that I saw after until I found one. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. obsessed. Look at this, how pretty. So this is a new hobby for me. Thank you. I'm just going to look around and see what I can find. So pretty. Oh, and you. Oh, my pretty. Look at the cedar. They're so tiny. Oh, and you. They remind me of little uh, brisabolas, little right? tiny brisabolas. They're forty-five dollars. That is just light. gorgeous. And it has to be spikes, isn't it? That is so adorable. How do you grow that little thing? That is really adorable. I am in love with this. Very nice. And that's the name of the place. I'm trying to remind myself not to grab the left side because it keep, my hand keeps coming out. Oh, yeah. Look at that, how gorgeous. They always have such pretty flowers to showcase. Wow, look at that. And the fragrance, the fragrance. I know. Oh my God. It looks like a Lud Miriana, but in purple. Hi, how are you? gorgeous? Are you following us? No, I'm not following you. <laughs> Don't say that. Isn't this that is gorgeous? gorgeous. Oh my goodness. That Look is at very it. pretty. I love it. They have beautiful oh stuff. My God. I love the way the petals. Good. This right? is just amazing. It's like a piece of jewelry. Oh my gosh. Blanty will never disappoint. <laughs> I know. Very pretty. Controlling the shopping I'm trying to. I'm trying You're trying to? to? I already, I already trying to. Yeah, I've been, I've been very good. <laughs> That's the age. Oh, it's a Luna Mariana. That's awesome. Beautiful stuff. Oh, Very pretty. You <laughs> have to see how you grow that little thing. That little thing is really oh, cute. I have a, I have a oh, yeah. It's smell it's awesome. every, everywhere I look, there's a new one. <laughs> I pass you. Same thing with this guy. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. coming. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming to the Western Town Orphan Society. 185. Valentine's Show. For that gorgeous Shamburkia. And look at the size, guys. For those of you who are the current lady in the showroom, um, we have more gorgeous banners to look at. This is Quest. Oh, it's Quest? Okay. Yeah, Quest always has really nice banners. And good orchids. His quality of orchids are excellent. That's a really nice. Uh... And they have sun orchids too. So this is Quest Orchids, guys. How are you doing? <laughs> are you sitting in for Quest? <laughs> the new face of Quest. <laughs> yeah, that's him. That's him, right? <laughs> How cool is that Catlia? That is so different. <gasps> it's just Terry. Oh my God, look at that. That 
is absolutely beautiful. I don't know. That looks like it's going to be very expensive. Yeah, because that's not... We got to get a name. <laughs> we can't leave here without this name. Thank you again for uh, coming to our Heather's Gold Main Strike. It's 65. Oh, that's not Actually, that is... Hold on, let me make sure. Yeah, it looks like it says 65. Terry, do me a favor. Because um, one hand is not... One hand is not helping. Here's, some, here's another one. Of that same one. And then we have all of our gorgeous body vendors. So guys, the Boca show turns out to be an excellent, excellent show. It's a small show, but I got to tell you, it doesn't feel small because the vendors brought so many amazing flowers. Well, they are doing a raffle, so what you guys are hearing is them setting up for the raffles and also for uh, sales at their flash sales they may be having. <laughs> Very pretty. I gotta say I am thoroughly impressed and very happy that we came here. I've never been to this show. I've never, never come. I always find out it's happening like at uh, three o'clock yeah, on, on a Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think. Oh goodness, look at this little cute Isn't that like the one we got at uh, Equajenera? I think it kind of looks like it, but I don't think it's exactly it. Fifty dollars for that little one. Well, for that, I'll buy that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and for best dress, I give it to this gentleman right here. Yes, best, best dress. dress in the whole place. Come on down and see us. <laughs> this is awesome. And then here's where they have the raffles, guys. You can, you can try to win any of these wonderful gifts. All the vendors are so generous to give from their booth. So you buy the raffle ticket, you put it down here, wherever it is that you want to um, shop. This is Marley's. That's a really nice gift Marley is giving. It's a big gift. Yes. I call them gifts because they're raffles, but. Yeah. And this, this is just, <laughs> this is what I would probably get a raffle yeah, ticket for. Me, from. Be between that one and that yellow, and that yellow one, yeah. Oh Terry, look, 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 look what they look what they donated. <gasps> the one we like. Oh yeah, right. Just beautiful. Now guys, introduce yourself real quick. I'm Melanie. I am Marlene's daughter, Marley's daughter from Orkney. And yeah, I'm marketing some you're hats work, and bears. You're working Orkney. You're working Exactly. I, I love that you guys gave one of your big red bears to uh, the raffle. Yeah. That's so cute. It's cute, yeah. And everybody's a fan of your hats. In my section, my comment yeah. section, people talk a lot about the hats. Hat guys. You would think, I would think, I thought, oh, they're going to go crazy for this, or they're going to... People go crazy for the things you least expect, and the hat is the number one thing. People are like, I love the hats! I know. <laughs> I love it so much myself. They're awesome. I can see myself gardening with that hat. I'm going to see you in a little bit. I'm okay, about yeah. to go Catch over you later. There. Catch you later. No, this is gorgeous. So see, guys, Sunday, 4 p.m. is a, is a cutoff time. Of the drawing. You can oh come God. and wrap buy a raffle ticket and maybe win this beauty. Oh, you're selling them. I was like, what is she showing me? I thought you were showing me the $10. This like, could be your lucky you, ticket. You that right could be the one. I'm like, what is she showing me? A $10 bill? You She's showing you the potential of, yes. of winning that. $5. <laughs> wow. And it's Insane. in a milk crate. That's how big that is. Does the milk crate come with it? No. <laughs> I'm sure it does. I am sure you can probably take sure that, that and put don't it in even give me this, right? No. I don't think anybody wants an empty milk crate. <laughs> well, to transport it's beautiful. it, it would be beautiful. This is gorgeous. Yes. So, guys, these are the specimens car, that people don't sell these, difficult. okay? No one sells these. Break the fact that you yes. can come here and oh my win a specimen, that is such a treat. Because where else are you going to get a specimen? That's right. 
No is one sells their specimens. Society, <laughs> it was donated, donated by one of our members, and he also donated a slightly smaller one that's on the regular well, rack. Well, oh, so it's a members donation. Yeah. So members yeah. and vendors donate. Because so, I was telling him, we were like, we would probably go for that one. And I said, oh, but look at this one. I would go for this one. <laughs> Um, ten tries with this pack. Oh, ten. Yeah. Four prize coupon for here. That oh. even gets a little more interesting oh, there. Oh, Terry. <laughs> I don't think it's all There's always room for one more. Five dollars, you get eleven tries. All right, guys, so here we are now outside from the area of the flowers because they did decide to, or, or they put one area in there for just the plants. And then out here for the vendors who have supplies and other novelties surrounding the orchids. Oh, look, she's got... She's got some We've got the florals, the queens, and the muskies. So, and everything is refillable. So once you buy... So that's the cup for you. Yeah, those are my refills. So you bring them in, empty, and we swap them out. Normally they cost 35 when you first purchase them. I refill them for $10 and we swap them out for 15 did you hear that, guys? If you buy one of Blanca's orchids candles and you burn them through, bring back the jar, and for ten dollars she'll refill it for you, which is a great, great deal. These are my second times bringing these to get refilled. If it was a boomerang, it would be this. I can tell it's Sunday. Yeah, <laughs> you guys right? are getting delirious. Oh, Tell me about these room fresheners. I didn't see oh these gosh, before. Oh my gosh, these are new. These are new, you guys. I had yes. not seen so these. So I keep these in the bathroom. This is this is what they call a flameless, um, you know, way Candle? of. Yeah, well, you know, flameless way of just having your fragrances in your home. So reed diffusers. Hi. <laughs> so reed diffusers, I put them in a small area. I put them in a bathroom by my orchids, by my plants, and they're just, you know, they just amazing. I have different fragrances. When you purchase the reed diffusers, it already comes included with six of the of the uh, fiber reeds and two of the little squigglies. The flowers are sold separately for two dollars. Those are adorable. But aren't these cute? And then they soak up all of the fragrance, and that's how they let out the smell. Very nice. And that one's volcano, zesty volcano. This is zesty volcano. I've got mahogany teak wood. I have um, cocoa bamboo, which is amazing. Our best selling and the, the best seller in the, in the mm, diffusers. That must smell sweet. It's very, look, I have a candle here. Let me see. Oh yeah, that smells, it smells exactly what it says. Yeah, so it's, it's, <laughs> it's exactly and, that. and bamboo. It's really yummy. Bamboo and coconut. Very what? Yummy. You're gonna let her very get some yummy. business here. <laughs> Excuse me? Would you like to be in front of the world? I watch you all the time. <laughs> I watch you, and, she, and, she and that's how I found this lovely lady. That's how you I'm found Ross? From, from watching you. The power of marketing. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and I love you. Oh, thank you. What's your name? Linda. 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 You don't know me. Oh, okay, no, because I have two Lindas that always Right, and I thought maybe you would be her. No, because I, I don't see the faces. Look for the other Linda. That would be me. You're the other Linda. Yes, <laughs> that's Great awesome. Job with your videos. Thank you, thank you. Here, I'll, I'll leave Blanca alone. I already interviewed her. Yeah, right. covered, so that way you can go I ahead and see the, the um, zesty volcano yeah. or the cocoa yeah. bamboo. Oh, that cocoa bamboo so was awesome. delicious. Let's delicious. hop on over to Roxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> and these are Roxy's fabulous mounts and teapot. I love these. These are so beautiful. That's all I have left. <laughs> you never, you know, as a, as a salesperson, you say, this is it. Get them while, they're, while they last. While they're hot, yeah. Got a few hours left. That's beautiful. Yeah. Now, this is your new stuff, right? You yes. sent me pictures of this. My new baskets. I find With the emblem in the front, that's yes. beautiful. Very, very nice. I love that touch. Kind of like the same technique I used for the Key West pots. It just took me a little oh, longer to get I the see. flower exactly how well, I Well, I like it because for those who don't know about orchids, all already assume and see this and say, oh, okay. And I also did two different models orchids. depending on what you're growing in it, see? Because oh, some orchids true. need that, but you some... Mean, it's true. And I made it so that the wire runs all the way through. Nice. Very discreetly. So if you need to hang it... You're so smart. You're good to go. <laughs> 
in your Neo Phoenicia pots. These are my favorite. Of, so cute. Of yours. Yeah, I brought these fun two colors. That's a lot of fun. Customer I love, request. Because I, I didn't those. have white and they wanted white, so I brought I made a few yeah. white ones. <laughs> And so, where are the what? Oh, you Hello, got your boxes welcome. here. These are her boxes. Pot. Oh, I have pots for you. <laughs> the problem that's is, what? how are you going to decide? <laughs> oh, okay. What do you have? That See, that's the best part. You bring your plant over to the booth, so do you have okay. and can I, can you I can pot the, the new plant that you bought, <laughs> and Excuse you can me. get the perfect, perfect okay. uh, base or pot or mount okay. for your plant. You according, like I like to get them according to the color of the flower. Yeah. Yes. This is so anyways, we're not going to bother Roxy anymore. Or you could be wild like Gary and just buy busy. them, take them home, and then try to figure it out at that point. <coughs> mm -hmm. Hop on over to Orkadee. 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 You saw me walking around with the bear. Oh, I did. Marketing. <laughs> marketing the bear. I love these. These are so pretty. These are candles and little crowns. I've still yet to burn mine. <laughs> I feel terrible burning. I'm like, it's too pretty to wear it out. Right? We said right at the same time. <laughs> and then these. Molly, I love your packaging. You're so good yeah, at packaging. Like you, like this is so, I'm, but seriously, I mean, this is so sophisticated and so well put together. And guys, she sells hand soaps, I have these. These are great. You put them on a little dish in your bathroom. And even without using them, you could smell them when you walk in your bathroom. What are your fragrances that you use? So mostly it's orchid, right? Orchid-y, so mostly orchid. Orchid, orchid fragrances? Yep, orchid oil. I love it. I, my favorite is orchid and sea salt. Yes, yeah, sea salt and orchid. That's Ooh, what I is. love that. I love that. That's one of my favorites. You change your own. Actually, you just put a little lights on it. That's all. Oh, okay. It looks different. No, your, same. I thought your o, your other O was pinker. This is more purple. Same. It's okay. You know, I was very ill, so my brain is not functioning at 100%. I had a flu. They say this is from Pearl Smith. You know, I have to buy something. That is gorgeous. I actually, I actually covered that. They had a really good covered it. Mira. Que lindo. Black King Kong, yeah. Y la otra. I also got that one from Quest. Yes. Which is, oh, this one? Yes. Oh, my Look at that. Mira. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's your colors. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your colors? I had to. I just had to. And then, guys, hear her jewelry. I know that she's been doing very well lately in the wedding platform. So, if any of you are getting married or planning to get married, try to consider this. This really is stepping outside the box. If you're an orchid lover, and you'd be bringing a little piece of your passion on your special day. These are gorgeous. These are all new, Marley. I have not seen these. Yeah, I did some new designs. This is really pretty. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. See, if I wore earrings, these are the ones I would wear. <laughs> Cranberry and yellow. So pretty. You guys, this is the name of the brand. I'm doing quick drive-bys today because there's a lot of vendors. <laughs> awesome seeing you guys. And right next to it, it's almost like you guys are all neighbors. We are all it's neighbors. It's Wendy. Hi. They all live next to each other. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. We are actually. <laughs> literally, literally, you all live next to each other. <laughs> and this is Glasshouse Creations. And they have, what is this here? What do you, what, what? I that. I thought it'd be fun. That is fun. Yeah, so you have, you see like your little shovel, your little oh rake, God, your shears, so cute. you have gloves, you have little pots, and a little I would give seeds. that. I would give that to a kid yeah? for oh, Easter. Yeah. It's coming right up, Easter basket. Exactly. Little garden, because a lot kids. of kids so love to, to garden. garden. And of course, Anybody guys, her, these pots are great. So you can fill this with water, put your plants here, 
and you don't have to worry about watering until you see the water gone. I mean, how easy is that? I mean, I think you're onto something with these gift baskets. Yeah, it's, it's um, like for children. I think it would be a yeah, great idea because I'm, kids love gardening. I'm even leaning gardening. into maybe maybe like little orchid starting kits. Yes. Oh, you know? I'm gonna yeah. lean into those too. So twenty five bucks for a basket like this? That's a great gift. You get a little cute little steak and everything. I put love in it. it. That is. And then your wonderful topiaries. Heart topiaries. How pretty! Look at that. These are so pretty when they fill out. Yeah, they remind they remind me of Disney of that was, landscaping. That was exactly the inspiration. Where I was going for. Okay. Then these get flowers. They get yellow flowers. Oh wow! So guys, these topiaries they fill out with the vine, and she says it blooms little yellow flowers. Really cool stuff. And of course, you have your awesome window. Um, what do you call these window sconces or cathedral windows? For the Cathedral basket. I have something like this in my with my green uh, my green flash. And I saw that you donated a t-shirt. I did. This is very cute. I recognize it right away. Hey guys, so that is Wendy's Glass House Creation. Let's move on to the next. I'm trying to cover every single one. I don't want to leave anybody out. Look at these decorative folded book art. You want to do the demonstration, Terry? Is that like super cool? I saw that in the water. Any specific one? Yeah. Anyone. Just. And then, so basically, you know, you just. That is so okay. beautiful. That is just. That's incredible. Such a, so cool. I've never seen anything like that. That is beautiful. And a nice way to display a book that you've read like two or three times, or even once. Or a, it's a great gift. I mean, this would yeah. just make a great gift. Oh now she also, what's her name? Snow White's personal creations. She also makes jewelry. Very pretty. Let's see. On this side, guys. I don't want to disturb somebody's sales. Look at that, how gorgeous. That is absolutely beautiful. It's like an art piece on your neck. These are hair barrettes and Thank hair you. Um, clips. Hair clips, right? Yeah. Tree of Life. There's so many beautiful Oh, look at that, how pretty. I like the big flowers. So gorgeous. Now I sound like Melissa. So gorgeous. Look at that, how pretty. That is Very elegant. Thank you. That with a nice spaghetti strap black dress. That would dress it up. <laughs> it's very pretty. I wore it yesterday. Yeah, you make all these yourself? Very talented. Thank you. I just have fun with it. What's your name? Cindy. Cindy. How long have you been doing this? 15 years. How much? In excess of 15 years. 15 years? And I branched out. I started with a needle and thread. And I'm sorry, I missed your birthday. And then branched out. So, needle and thread, and you're up to orchids now and uh, it's isn't it incredible how art metamorphoses constantly this is amazing this is custom and then look at this this is that is beautiful needle and thread what that's needle and thread each individual wow oh my god that is that is beautiful I'm like, wow, I would have never thought that's needle and thread. Yeah, it looks know, like right? like precious stones. Like it looks really, really, really well done. There's a special kind of bee that has to line up. Stack up with each one. It yeah, shows. Because if not, it wouldn't look that clean. Exactly. Beautiful artwork. I love seeing stuff like this, you know, when people come up with... At the end of the day, I do my greeting cards. <laughs> That's your that's your fun split your fun space right you're you're coming up. 
How pretty. Look at how pretty her green cards are. They are beautiful. Very nice things. Gorgeous. That's really pretty. That is so cute. It's a little plain. Paper cutout. Yeah. Happy birthday. All right, let's go to the next one. Nice meeting you. You too. Enjoy the show. Thank you. And then here are our buddies who do these gorgeous steel drum ornaments. Right? Yep. Love, love, love this. And guys, this is all done with steel drums. It's an artist that actually carves out the steel drum and creates these beautiful shapes and then adds the color tone to it and the gloss. I actually own one of their pieces. Look, they have the chancleta now in super size. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, they do. We have that, but... We have the... With the, the real size. Here we go. Right here. Right there, yes. So, guys, here it is. Artisana inspired. That's the beautiful flip-flops, or as we call, we, we Latinos call chancleta. And it's a very powerful tool for a mother. <laughs> yes. They very. use that very well. Very well. <laughs> Are you selling these? No. no. Not me. <laughs> the lady in blue. I love these uh, orchid ones. They're just gorgeous. I love them. I want to have one of these someday. Of course, it would be. That one. Because of the cranberry and jellers. Exactly. Exactly. All right, guys. I think we're going to cut it off here so we don't make it too, too long. Oh, they're going to have a lecture. What lectures do they have today? Let me see. Uh, uh, Saturday lecture scheduled, February 10th. Beautiful blooms with the right supply. So if you guys come to these events, Ask and see if they have lectures because these are really good to come sit at. Uh, you learn a lot. All right, Terry. All right, guys. I think I'm going to close it up right here inside the space because I'm with all my friends, as you can see. They're all back there. And there's Miss Blanca. They're doing a group shot. So <laughs> I'm closing my channel. <laughs> Now is your time. For now is my turn. So, anyways, guys, do not forget. And thanks to Blanca, she reminded me. Is it next weekend? It's next week. Uh, it's is next it week next week already? Weekend? No, the following. The 17th. It's the next follows. weekend. It's next weekend. Today's the 11th. All right, guys. So next weekend, I will see you guys at the Wellington <laughs> Estates. It's going to be the very first of its kind. It's an international orchestra show in West Palm Beach. They have over 50 vendors. Really, really good vendors. It's going to be amazing. And I'm going to be there uh, setup day with all my friends who are going to be vendors there. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So go and see us. Now, is there a, an admission? I think it's $15 to get in. It's $15 per person to get in. 15 per person, not yes. breaking the bank. So guys, try to go. If you're in Florida, it'll be a wonderful day. It'll be held Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, correct? No, Saturday, Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Nine only. to five. Right, and then Friday is set up. Yeah. All right, I'll so that's it. <laughs> Here, let me put all my friends. <laughs> I'm following you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I want to close it with all my friends. Until next time, I am Nelson. This is the Orchid family. <laughs> You've been watching h &L. Remember to always, always... Keep it green! See you next time. That was cute. That was cute. All right, let's